It's always loud here inside the Rocky Pool for Billings Aquatic Club practice. Hard for anybody to hear, but almost impossible for Siler Pizzolatto. That, though, might also be his superpower. Three more. This is what the world sounds like to most of us. But this is what Siler Pizzolatto hears, and he's just fine with it. My disability actually helped me because it helps me stay focused and I don't have any distractions. Pizzolatto is hearing impaired. He has an 82 decibel loss in his best ear. That's the amount of sound a vacuum cleaner makes. But none of that matters in here. It's just you, yourself, and the black line at the bottom of the pool. Pizzolatto has excelled in the water. He recently made the USA Swimming Futures Cut, meaning he's in the top 1% of his age group in the country. And that's even after overcoming a unique starting block process. He has to have hand signals so that he knows when to go down for the start of the race, take your mark. And then at bigger meets, he'll have a strobe light either on the block or he'll have it on the side. You can see Pizzolatto here looking over at the official long after everyone else is in position. But once he tucks and looks for that light, he's dangerous. Light travels faster than sound, so that maybe I have a bit of an advantage, but I mean, other people can do the same as me, so. Pizzolatto's most recent achievement is even more impressive. The 16-year-old has been selected to represent Team USA at the World Deaf Swimming Championships in Argentina. A very small amount of the population be able to have this opportunity to go out there and swim for your country, not just your state or your club, but to be able to swim for the whole nation. He says he'll have to learn a little more sign language for the trip. He relies more on reading lips, though it's not always easy with his head coach. He wants to deny it, but I keep telling him that his beard kind of gets in the way. I usually use a lot of hand signals, and he knows a little bit of sign, but mostly he really picks up on lips, so I try and just brush the beard back a little bit. Excellent recovery. Just another obstacle for Pizzolatto to overcome, something he's plenty used to. He understands that he needs just a little bit more time to, to get what everybody else just picks up quickly. And he, once he gets it though, I mean, he's gonna work 10 times harder than anybody else in the water, and that's what he does. In Billings, Casey Conlon, MTN Sports.